Hey everyone, welcome again to Gear Facts. Today I've got a Mike Ritchie sequencer. This is an expression pedal sequencer. It doesn't make any sounds on its own. What you can do is link it up through a CV socket to various other kinds of synthesizers, particularly analog, electrical type things, and it will run through eight separate points and give you a signal based on the strength of each of these. What I'm going to do today though is link it up to something digital a Zoom G2 multi effects processor, and we'll see what sort of effect it has on that. So, first of all, I'll show you what the sequence looks like. There we go, just running through our eight points and then back to the start in a loop. So, without that running, my sound is like this. Not a particularly nice sound, obviously, but it's perfect for giving us an idea of what this controller can do. So, let's begin the sequence. Now, the limitation with this sequencer is when connecting it to this particular piece of equipment, remembering of course that it is digital, the settings that you make with each of these potentiometers doesn't really seem to make any difference. It's basically on or off, or should I say it's on momentarily when the light comes on, and in between each light the signal power reduces down to zero. And I'll demonstrate that. <laughs> So no matter where I put these potentiometers, the same thing's happening with the sequence. So all I've really got to control it with is speed. That certainly doesn't mean it's useless though. Let's have a listen to some more sounds. So there we see it controlling the wah sound with a nice steep choppy sort of effect between each oscillation. And now with ring modulation. This is an interesting one, changing the speed of the phaser. A little bit more subtle there, but definitely interesting. And here's one that's a bit more far out, it's controlling the resonance of the sound. That's the Mike Rucci Step Sequencer. There are heaps of other great controllers and instruments made by Mike Rucci, so they're well worth looking up on YouTube. I've demoed a few of them myself. Thanks for watching, guys. Feel free to leave a comment or hit that subscribe button. And I look forward to seeing you in the next episode.